Maybe Bushmasters. They're stacked up everywhere. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome to Venom Central. It's a special event today. We got the Bushmaster Breeder Extraordinaire. We got Matt Harris in the house today, my new partner, and we're going to be doing some really cool stuff with the with these baby Sinatris, with these baby Bushmasters. They're barely a week old, so we're going to be getting weights on them, which is important, so we can actually document growth rates, and we're going to be getting sexes on them today. This is going to be a fun episode. We're going to show you some big Bushmasters. We're going to show you a few feeding clips of just how aggressive Bushmasters are during a feeding response, but it's going to be cool. You don't want to miss this stuff, so hang in there, everybody. All right, we're going to start out by, by looking at some of these animals and getting a, a weight and a sex on them. But we actually had a 100% hatch rate. Matt, now you said your uh, your previous clutches, none of them actually look like these, huh? These yeah. are actually, these have somewhat reduced patterns, and some of them actually have, you know, the, the vertebral uh, stripes are almost connected the whole way down. So they've got some really neat... Uh, yeah, as these were hatching, I was, I was like, blown away. I was like, these things are amazing. These are actually a lot bigger, too. They're, yeah, these babies are huge. The eggs were weighed a little bit, actually probably about 20% more than what the previous clutches were. were. Pretty calm now. You said they were snappy when they first came out. Matt, they were coming out of the egg, and they were they were striking while they were still hanging in the egg. Mm -hmm. They were just complete little maniacs. Yeah, the whole hatching process took quite a while. That's typical. It usually takes them you know, a few weeks to months just to calm down. But the typical Bushmasters, those babies, they're always pretty flighty right out of the egg. Yeah, I can tell you, like, the, the ones that had stopped in previous years, the Mel and Sopla were calm, but the Stenophrys were always just a little bit meaner. Like this hook, because it's got, it's flattened, hammered down at the tip of it, so you can slide it right You can under. slide it underneath them easy. There we go. Nice and easy. All right, now, keep away from them holes. Now we can get a safe look at this little guy. We can get a weight on him first. We're at 151 grams on this. And now, sex and baby Bushmasters is actually pretty easy. They're big enough, and they're actually robust enough where, where you can tell the difference between a male and a female. You know, of course, males are going to have an elongated tail, uh, a little bit heavier. A female's got a, this, you know, a dainty little short tail. So they don't require them being probed. Uh, probing them is, is, is it's really stressful on them. I mean, I'm going to call that male. He's got a nice, long, thick tail, mm -hmm. and it's got a really slow taper. 83 grams. Yeah, he's, he's 83 grams. The ones last year were actually smaller. They only averaged about 45 to 50 grams. But the biggest one I had the year before was 63 grams. So this is solid 20 grams heavier than the 20 previous. grams heavier. These eggs, the eggs when they were laid, they averaged 100 grams, which is massive. That is, that's huge. That is really big. Okay, so this guy, we've got it as a male. And this is snake number one. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is just absolutely gorgeous. Nothing cooler than a brand new baby Bushmaster. And the patterns on these Sinophrys are just wicked. Yeah, this is another one that's got one of the funky patterns on his back. Yeah, this one's got a very crazy. elongated pattern. I think that's a female as well. Our weight. 82 grams. 82 grams. 82 grams. That's a female. Yep. That is really a, a short, erupt tail. She's got a cute little dainty tail. That's a little girl. These snakes stress out so quickly that if you try to tube this snake and pro it, you're going to stress it so badly. That's why they don't do good being soaked. They don't do good being tubed. They don't do good being handled. They're really... A high stress animal. They stress out and then they start not doing good. But Matt was saying about this clutch is how this clutch literally out of the last two three clutches that he's had is just amazing. The, the longitudinal stripes and, uh, and the patterning on these guys turned out really really cool. 
Yep, we're going to spill it. And I know what, you've seen me do this before with snakes in my racks. I do the little spill technique instead of hooking them and, and, and stressing them. But I still keep a hook on my hand just in case this snake hits this mm -hmm. or hits one of these higher surfaces and decides to slide off in a different direction. So, and you notice Matt's got the lid ready. We'll spill it and we'll lid it quickly. See, look, Matt uses that. See how Matt did that? He uses that lid as a shield in front of him mm -hmm. as he does that. That slide technique is something you use a lot more with big, heavy adults. That you don't really want to lift them up off the ground because they are so heavy and heavy and delicate at the same time. So they can get spinal injuries right. very easily. So that's right. Hooking them and tailing a bushmaster and moving them a big, heavy one, it's not a good idea. I mean, when I transport snakes, I try to slide them like I showed y'all in a previous video of moving that big bothrop species slide them and scoot them over and let them do their thing. I mean, sometimes you have to put your hands on them and move them, but as easy as possible is the key. And safe. Cage as way. close to the ground as possible. That's the safest for the snake. Yeah. This one's 81 grams. Yep. Here we go. Oh yeah, definitely. That's a female. That's a female. Let's get a good close-up of her. This one is, this one's a smoker. <laughs> that's, that's one of my favorite ones. That one. Dibs. <laughs> Sorry, man, but that snake's not leaving Venom Central. <laughs> it is a smoker. It's a beautiful little Bushmaster. Yeah, get a close-up of that snake, babe. I don't know how well this translates through, through the camera. Looks like we're going to have a high count of females. Which is, which is awesome. Another thing that's interesting about these babies, and I was pointing this out to Matt last night, the end of their tails is fire red. I mean, it's it almost looks like a coddle lure. They got that little, you know, that little Bushmaster spike on there, but the end of their tails is bright red. So I'm wondering if, you know, in the wild, Stenophrys actually do a coddle lure. We're going to spill this one in here gently. And it's rattling its tail. Matt, you want to tell them why they rattle their tails? <laughs> nervous for the most part right, right. Yeah. and it's a defensive thing they're not really trying to mimic rattlesnakes so we've sexed them all we've weighed them all it don't get better than that 6.6 hundred percent hatch rate big babies it don't get better than that that's captive breeding at its finest captive breeding at its finest <laughs> good job Matthew and we're gonna move over into the Bushmaster room and we're gonna show you the parents of these guys you guys are probably wondering, who is this Matt Harris? Well, I can tell you, he's a nuclear engineer that travels the world extensively for his job, but in his spare time, he travels all through the tropics to herp, traveling primarily to hunt Bushmasters. But he's been to Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Ecuador, Trinidad, Belize. He's even been to Tanzania to climb Kilimanjaro. But in his spare time, he scuba dives. You guys got to see this. Check this out. This is really cool. Fierce Bushmaster is coming up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, give us the thumbs up. And if you're waiting for me to get in the water with a great white shark, it's not going to happen. Matt can do that madness. That's all him. <laughs> but anyways, click on part two. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be really exciting. Willie Benham Central checking out. Later.